Hello folks, this is Shane R. Monroe with NVIDIA Shield Zone. Today we're going to take you through using Explorer File Manager and root access on your Shield Android TV OTA 3.2 to show you how to get around some of the write restrictions built into the Android operating system. Locally plugged in devices such as USB sticks, micro SD, OTG, they all have pretty much read access with the exception of applications that allow you to grant the application access to a certain SD card or device. If you're rooted, however, and you're using the Explore File Manager, you can grant yourself some other permissions using the app. So we're going to run Explore for the first time. It's going to ask you for some basic permissions. We're going to go ahead and allow those permissions. And now you see all of the things that are plugged in, as well as my adopted 500 gigabyte hard drive um, that's adopted as a USB drive. And uh, so let's take a look here. So this is the Android operating system, right? Sitting on the quote SD card, which is really my external adopted 500 gigabyte USB drive. I have a, an OTG drive plugged in. I have an external hard drive plugged in. And of course, I have a micro SD card installed. Now, right off the bat, you can I can tell you right now that uh, you cannot write what would one of my videos be without a dog barking in the background. So if I try to copy one of my Plex media logs over here. Now, this is what you would typically get. You get pretty much access to one device, right? And you do that by selecting the device. In this case, I was trying to write it to the USB, right? Hit select. And now you have access to this device, read, write, but you still don't have access to the hard drive or the micro SD card. Failed. What about the hard drive? Failed. Oops, sorry about that. One too many B buttons. All right, so what about, of course, the, uh, the adopted storage is fully read-write. You can do whatever you want with that. Copy it over. No problems whatsoever. You're good. So what we want to do is show you how you can get to this, this, and this as fully writable drives using root access. If you go over to menu, other file managers may have this, but this is the only one I've found that has this level. So you go down here to root access, it defaults to normal. If you are rooted, you can use super user plus mount writable. Now, if I go into the root folder, I've already been granted permission, uh, permissions from super SU. You'll get a prompt asking you if you want that to give permissions to the app. Now, you can't write directly into these mounts, okay? It doesn't work that way. Instead, go under root, mount, or MNT, and media RW. Inside here, you're going to see some sort of weird uh, denotions here. But if you look in here, you'll see that's my USB drive, that is my micro SD card, and that is my OTG drive. So... This is my USB drive, non-adopted. And you see it had no trouble. What about my micro SD card? Let's try copying over to that. No trouble at all. And finally, we'll go to the OTG device. As you probably have guessed, no trouble at all. So. Once again, you go into menu, go to user plus mount writable. I want to say once again, this only works if your device is rooted. Go to NVIDIAShieldZone.com and look up your Shield TV device and we'll teach you how to root it. So there you have it. There is a way to read and write locally to your uh, devices using the Explore File Manager and, of course, root access. 
Now, you still cannot access mounted drives. That was the next question. And I can't mount a drive without kicking off the recording of uh, game, the game casting recording system. That's a known bug. They're fixing that. But I can't mount a, a network drive and show you how that works. But network drives cannot be written to. It's just, as far as I can tell, it's part of the restriction of Android. The only reason we can get away with this is because the mounts exist under the system mount folder. That's the only way Root gives us access. The Samba shares that you mount using OTA 3.2, those are external devices that cannot be written to, even with Root access. At least I haven't found a way to do it. Hey, if you've got a way to make that work, you let me know and I'll share it with everybody else. So that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this look. Uh, this is Shane R. Monroe with NVIDIAShieldZone.com. We'll take care of you next time.